And that's when he looked at me and said, have you ever gone out with a woman that just finished doing a video shoot for bestiality porn? I know, right? That's how I felt. And of course I was like, no, why have you? And of course he tried to play it off. He was like, oh, you know, he just realized what he had said. Like, no, no, not me. You're right. You don't say that kind of stuff unless it actually happened. Yeah, he's in jail now. It has nothing to do with animals, though. Yeah, he's in jail for breaking and entering. He was telling me about how he wanted to rob his old lady in the neighborhood. And I tried to talk him out of it, but he said, you don't know my struggle. So it's nothing, pretty much nothing I could tell him. But he made it sound so good, like it was just a foolproof plan that I had considered joining him at one point. He was like, look, man, she's blind, always has the TV on. All I have to do is just go in there, be quiet, get what I want. She'll never know I'm there. So, two days went by. I didn't hear anything from him. So, I figured, you know, he got away with a little robbery. Took a vacation, you know, to get away, living a good life. Uh, so now maybe three or four days went by. And I got a phone call from the county jail. And guess who it was? His ass. Somebody, hey man, I need you to come get me out. And I'm like, get you out? For what? What you locked up for? And he said, man, I robbed old girl down the street. And I'm thinking to myself, how the hell did he get caught? It sounded like the perfect plan. So I was like, yeah, what, what happened? How'd you get caught? Man, y'all ain't gonna believe this. He told me, man, I was almost home free, right? Had the flat screen under one arm, had a pocket full of money, had a jewelry box under the other arm. I had just opened the door, I was almost up out of that piece, right? I'm like, yeah, so what happened? Y'all, he told me she sneezed. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I know what I'm thinking that may have happened next. It's not really what happened next, but I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. So I asked, I said, okay, she sneezed. And then what? He said, man. Hold on, y'all, don't make me laugh. He said, man. I told her, bless you. I said, this got to be the dumbest mother. I just hung up the phone. So, that's pretty much how that went. Y'all are a really good crowd. Thanks, I like it. It's almost like, no matter what I say, y'all laugh. See? Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay. I see where this is going. I'll try this one joke out. I've been wanting to try this one for a while. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why? Hell if I know. <laughs> okay.
somebody call Nick Cannon, because I am wildin' out. Okay, okay. Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, I'm coming to see you. Book me on the show, leave me a spot on that couch. All right, but now for real, that's been my time, y'all. LA, thank y'all very much. J-Rod, holla at you.